Both these teams won more than 100 games last year. Both, of course, exited early, but both are right there at the top of the list of teams that people expect to be around at the end this year. Star power everywhere, right? Broadway to Hollywood. These two teams, their predictions are high. Red Beatty was tearing it up in Syracuse this year. Nine games in OPS over 1,300, and he has forced his way into the Mets lineup. He is here. He's batting eighth and playing third base tonight. He's here to stay. He is going to play. Three starts into Dustin. Austin Mazier. He's got a 147 ERA, and that average against so is the best in the National League. And Nimmo climbs in. Nimmo over the last four games, eight for 17. On a one two from Dustin May. Fastball's blown by him, one gone. 0 oh, and 2 to Marte. Lifted to the right field corner. No big deal for Mookie Betts. He gets there. Stepping over the foul line. Two up and two down. Home of the one two. That is a fastball. Cranked in the air to left center field. But playable for Trace Thompson. And after a 31 pitch first inning in his last start, he needs just 11 to go one, two, three tonight. Pitcher for the Mets in game one tonight is David Peterson, who's getting his chance in the rotation. He kicks and deals. And the dirt almost hit bats. In fact, Yes, it did. Dirt, knee, yeah. glove, mask. New York is challenging the ruling on the field of a hit by pitch. The previous play is now under review. Since he took over the Mets job at the beginning of last year, he has the number one challenge success rate of any manager since the system was implemented a decade ago. He's got another After review, one. the ruling on the field is overturned. The batter was not hit by the pitch. He will return to bat you. with a 2-1 count. New York will retain its challenge. Freddie yesterday a four strikeout game. It's the 13th four strikeout game in his 14 year career. Smashes this ball right center field way back there gone. Freddie Freeman with a home run to start the scoring. He gets it right down the middle. A very successful challenge and a very nice catch by the fan. So two out of nobody on now Mark Canna. Mark at a home run in Oakland, but he has just that one hit in his last 14 at bats. And he grounds one toward the hole. Vargas can't get to it. And Canna has a two out hit. There's Daniel Vogelback, who's been drawing his walks, but not getting many hits. Just four for 23 to start the year. Two and one to Vogelback. And Daniel drives one out to left center field. Back in the gap goes Taylor looking up, and it's out of here! Daniel Vogelback with his first home run of the year. An opposite field two run shot. And the Mets go in front to the one. And now Brett Beatty with his first big league at bat of the year. Well, Beatty was just having a marvelous time of it over the first nine games. He missed a couple of games when he had some thumb soreness. Remember, it was the torn thumb ligament that ended his season last year after playing just 11 games with the Mets. Got quite a pitcher to go up against tonight. But the Mets strike with two outs. All right, grounds one down to Freeman. And Freddie makes the toss. May cover side retire. But Daniel Vogelbach's first home run of the year puts the Mets in front. Two to one in the second. Lead off man aboard and up comes Miguel Vargas. On a 2-0 from Peterson. He hits it on the ground to third. Beatty's got it. Goes to second one. McNeil's turn is late. There's a righty and Trace Thompson. On a 2-1 pitch. Thompson hits it hard and through. Opposite field base hit Trace Thompson. Vargas going to stop at second. This is more like the offense the Dodgers are looking for. A little bit more consistent. Putting pressure on the starting pitcher. Serves it into right center field. And Austin wins in his first at bat as a Dodger. Has knocked in at least one. He's knocked in two with a double to put the Dodgers in front. Welcome to Los Angeles. Austin wins. Here's Mookie Betts. And he chops one over the mound. Lindor goes left high hop. He stays with it and throws him out. You don't see too many bad hops on this Dodger Stadium infield, but Lindor did well to stay with it. Three to two LA after two. Fourth inning, Mets down a run. Austin May has allowed two runs and three hits. It all came in the second. Daniel Vogel back a two run homer that put the Mets in front briefly. And Lindor is hit by the pitch, got him in the foot. He is struggling to get to his feet. It's number 14. 14 for the Mets. Third time Lindor's been hit. 14 hit by pitches. It's extraordinary. These Mets are, have magnet. So the Mets with a chance to tie or take the lead. First and third. Nobody out. And Jeff Slash has won the other way for a base hit. That'll tie the game. 
Lindor comes in to score, and the Mets get even three to three. Two and two to Vogelback, May needing a strikeout. And it's a ground ball to second, and that'll get the Mets the lead. Vargas throws out Vogelback, in the score comes Alonzo, and it's four to three, New York. So the Mets poke their nose in front, four to three. Here's Brett Beatty for his second at bat with McNeil at third and two out. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming to Beatty. And he lines one into right field, a base hit. McNeil comes in to score. Brett Beatty with an RBI single behind in the count. He drives in a run to make it five to three, New York. Well, he was down 0 and 2 and he fought his way through it and got a pitch to hit and Beatty drives in his first run in his second at bat. Mookie bats three for 14 in this homestand. Ground ball through base hit center field. One of his first hard hit balls of this homestand. Tying run at the plate two gone in the fifth. Sliced in the air to deep center. Nimmo on the move to the track to the wall. Freeman second of the game. And a tie game. Angle, he got just enough. That had some side spin on it. Number five ties it at five and inning five. That is a some two out thunder. Could be one swing, could be one walk and a stolen base to change the game right here. So one out and nobody on now. Max Muncy goes for this one and hits it a mile. Dodgers take the lead. On a Watch one, whack one. Holy smokes. What a recoil. <laughs> so Phil Bickford thrown right into the fire. Dodgers by run. Mets with the bases loaded and nobody out. And Francisco Lindor coming up. Bickford's seventh outing of the year. And he gets the first slider in on a clock violation. Oh, a balk is called. A balk was called against Bickford, and that's going to bring in the tying run. Was he rushing to beat the pitch clock? Is that why he balked? Wasn't sure. Home plate umpire Mark Ripperger calling the balk against Bickford on his first pitch. And Dave Roberts out to talk about it. You're not supposed to be able to argue a balk any more than you're allowed to argue a ball or strike call. But I guess he wants an explanation of what it was that Ripperger saw. Oh. He's moved, he said, and then he moved his front foot. It's all right, though. I mean, if you do that every time, that's not a bomb. Yeah, but you're not allowed to anymore. No, that's right. You're not allowed to have any because extraneous pitch clock. Exactly. This is Phil Bickford's 125th game in the major leagues in the first block. So now runners to second and third. The game is tied. There was no pitch to Lindor, and he grounds one down to first, and that'll get the lead run home. Nimmo comes in. The Mets lead seven to six, and here comes James Altman against left-handers. He's reached in eight of his 12 plate appearances. That includes a homer. Turns on this ball deep to right field. Marte's going back. It is lodged in the wall. It's lodged in the wall. It's a double, and they're at second and third. And just being cradled right there, and I've never seen that. Seventh pitch to Peralta. And he lifts one out to left center, chasing Nimmo back in the gap to the warning track at the wall. He made the catch! Oh, another brilliant play by Brandon Nimmo! One and one to Hayward. And he grounds one down to first, handled by Alonzo, covering on Avino, and the ball game is over. The Mets come from behind three separate times. They score three in the seventh to overcome the Dodgers eight to six.